how to be a bad bitch. For the people that are like, I don't want to be a bad bitch. Like, I don't want to be called a bad bitch. Being a bad bitch is, forget the word bitch. Being a bad bitch just means you are that bitch. I really don't know how else to explain it without using the B word. But you're not a bitch. You are that bitch. I can't text you, I'm too wavy. I can't text you, I'm too wavy. I can't text you, I'm too wavy. What's up goodies, it's Deja and I'm back with another video. The reason my voice sounds like this is because I'm a little under the weather. So just bear with me, okay? But you know what, that doesn't matter. You know what matters? Being a bad bitch. So we're gonna get right into this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to be a bad bitch. Now, being a bad bitch is more than materialistic things, how you look, etc. Being a bad bitch is your mentality, how you handle things, how you handle negativity, how you learn from things, and how you never let an L stop you. Being a bad bitch, there's so much to it. So let's get right into this video so you guys can be the baddest ever. But I know nowadays it's kind of hard to be fully confident with yourself because of the internet, literally anytime you scroll, you see just a girl with just a bomb body or just something that you want or something that you don't have yet or you don't have at all. And we see all those things get idolized every single day. It is so hard to not be insecure. And it's so hard to fully accept yourself for how you are because you just see so many things that you could be or that you want to change about yourself. So I'm going to talk about how I gain confidence and how I just taught myself how to just love myself and how I practice my confidence. And then I'll get into my actual tips, my mental tips, my relationship tips. And before we go, press that subscribe button so you guys are notified whenever I have a video, a new video. So when I was younger and like middle school, um, I did used to get like bullied for how I looked and how I acted. People used to call me all types of different names. Like I literally don't remember and I don't want to remember, but I used to get made fun of all the time just because of how I, how I looked and how I acted. Like I was a total, like I was totally emo as fuck. And I was the black girl that like only hung out with the white kids and like I played soccer like I was just I'm just different. I was just different and like now I'm just different. So you know like when I went to high school I was like okay um, I want to look like this. Like I would always watch like YouTube videos of like girls like just like pretty girls like on YouTube like I'm gonna practice how they do their makeup I'm gonna do all this so when I get to high school I can just be popping I literally was like I am going I want to look this way and how I'm gonna do it is like I need to work so with that being said when I got to high school I was like I am not about to be no ugly duckling in high school. Like, I'm going to be cute. Like, I knew what I wanted to look like, so I was not going to stop until I looked like it. In middle school, this is exactly what I wanted to look like. Seriously, like, I did not look like this in middle school at all. I was not like this in middle school at all. I practiced my confidence every single day. I made sure I knew how to make myself look on fleek. I just practiced. Confidence is not something that you gain overnight. Even Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, everybody is insecure about something. With confidence, honestly, you have to fake it till you make it. And what I mean by that is I did not fully get confident till I was like 19 or 20. And before then, like when I was 16, I was acting so confident. And that's because I had to fake it till I made it. I literally would be like, I'm the shit, I'm the shit, I'm the shit. And not really believe it, but just saying it literally made me feel like I was the shit. I had to tell myself I was beautiful. I had to be my biggest fan. That's how I became confident. 
and you have to speak it into existence like literally I did not look like this when I was in middle school I would always be like oh my gosh I just hope my face can just slim down I used to have such a chubby face and I used to just be like I hope my face can slim down like I hope this and I hope that and now I honestly love the way I look and it's because I just spoke that shit into existence one thing a bad bitch never does is speak negatively about herself. You literally could not think negatively about yourself because you are all that you got. You talking shit to yourself, saying how ugly you are, or saying how this you are, how that you are, you have to live with yourself for the rest of your life. So you need to talk to yourself nice. Like, talk to me nice or don't talk to me twice. You guys need to talk to yourself like you are a queen. Like. Even if you want to fix something, don't talk negatively about it. Just talk, say how you want to fix it and do that shit. You cannot do something and think negatively about it. Like, I'm going to fail, so I'm not going to do it. Or I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to do it. Like, you cannot think negatively. You have to just go into it full throttle. If you think negative things, negative things are going to happen. If I literally, before I did my eyeliner, I'm like, oh, I'm going to fuck up. Of course I'm going to fuck up my eyeliner because I just said that. So, you need to think positively. Why would you go into things with a negative energy? Like, why would you even put yourself through that? Say it and believe it, and it will happen for you. Let me explain something as well. There's a difference between cocky and confident. Cocky is thinking you're the shit and everybody else is scum. Confidence is just thinking you're beautiful, you're self-love, and that's a bad bitch. So don't ever let someone tell you, oh my god, you're so cocky for loving yourself. Because fuck that. No, you're not. You're your main priority. You're your best friend. So you need to just gas yourself up to the, your biggest ability because that's what best friends do, bitch. So being a bad bitch, of course you gotta make sure your nails, makeup, hair, everything is on fleek. If you wear makeup, I say always make sure your eyelashes, lip gloss, eyebrows, and earrings are on fleek. That is the prettiest bad bitch thing ever. Make sure you have blush. I feel like every bad bitch should have blush. If you don't wear makeup, I say make sure your eyebrows, lip gloss, everything, whatever is on fleek. Maybe try like a lip pencil that's kind of the same color as your lips and that would be so cute. And just put like a gloss over it. A little pop of something, you know. My first physical thing would be to walk with your fucking head up. Don't walk with your head down. Just don't walk with your fucking head down. A bad bitch addresses all her problems. Whether you address it or not address it. If you hear someone's talking shit or you see something online, if it's online, block them. Who cares? Literally block them. Who? You're, you're a scum. You're already you're commenting on my picture. You took the time out to comment a hate comment. Um, yeah, I won. But remember, everything does not deserve your attention. So, if you see someone talking shit, you could either reply with a bad bitch reply, which would be something kind of nonchalant, or something kind of... Hmm. Something a little, a little messy. Or, you could just not address it at all, because baddies don't fight, honestly. So, that's your problem, sis. So, how to be a bad bitch dating and in relationships. So, I see so many girls get it fucking twisted with these lame ass guys. Do not let a lame ass guy ruin your confidence. No guy should be able to tell you something and that should break your confidence. Guys are ugh, just a disease, literally. You are your confidence. I look at it like this. How can you expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself? If you don't love yourself, you're going to let a guy treat you however he wants to treat you. Demand respect in a relationship. A bad bitch demands respect in a relationship. No guy's going to call a bad bitch out of her name. And if they are, if someone tries it, they get put in their place because a bad bitch speaks the fuck up. Don't be like, oh, that's just how my man talks. Like, he calls me bitch, whatever. If he calls you bitch, hoe, or anything disgusting out of your name, um, red flag is fuck. You need to get to the left, to the left. Or you need to address that issue and dead it. Never let it happen again because a bad bitch does not get disrespected in her relationships. Little do you guys know, I dated a guy for two years and he never called me out of my name once. 
literally never called me out of my name. He probably did around his friends, whatever, whatever, but in my face, no. He never called me a bitch, ever. Because if a guy truly loves you, he's not going to call you out your name. There's a way to love you without calling you out of your name. I feel like girls are really scared to tell guys what they want. If you just start dating a guy and you guys are already hugged up and chilling at his crib, that shit is fucking lame. Chilling at the crib is fun. Don't get me wrong, whatever. Netflix and chill is fun. But that happens at the, like you know more into the relationship in the beginning of the relationship he needs to be trying to take you out not go to like extravagant ass dinners five star meals etc but like he should want to get to know you like chilling at the crib is cool and all but no you need to demand your respect you need to make him know i'm a bad bitch you need to treat me like it and that's big facts Duh. But a big thing is speaking up. Like, you cannot expect somebody to read your mind. People can't read your mind. You need to speak your mind. A bad bitch always speaks her mind, and people know what's up. And speaking your mind, that's how you get respect. Because people are like, okay, she knows exactly what she wants. So, also is speaking up. If you see a guy that you like, talk to him. Literally, just talk to him. He's going to be like, wow, she talked to me first. She is a bad bitch because she has confidence. A girl with confidence is the sexiest thing ever. So if you approach a guy, they're going to love it. So another thing a bad bitch doesn't do is care about someone else's opinion. You can take constructive criticism. That's always cool if you feel like that works for you. But I truly, me, myself, I truly, truly, truly don't care what other people think of me. It does not affect my day. It does not stop my money flow. It does not make me feel any type of way. Reading something or hearing something that someone says about me honestly does not bother me at all. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you're talking about me. You're putting your energy into me. And I need all the energy I can get. Because honestly, that is a personal problem. What you have to say about me or how you feel about me is a personal problem. And if you have an issue with me, it's honestly a personal problem as fuck. Because I don't have any problems with anybody. Because in my own world, I only see me, my family, and my close friends and my YouTube fam. Anything else is literally a personal problem. And that's how bad bitch thinks. And that's what every girl should think. Because you know what? A bad bitch is not a hater. That is why I thrive and that's why I glow because I'm not a hater. If I see a bad bitch, I'm gonna say, wow, she's such a bad bitch. If I like her outfit, I'm gonna ask her where she got it from. If I like her makeup, I'm gonna ask her what kind of makeup she's wearing. Because I'm not a hater. I love bad bitches because bad bitches, when they come together, it like makes them better. I swear. Like, hanging out with bad other bad bitches makes me just... It just fuels me. Like, I'll never be a hater bitch and always want to hang out with girls that... I feel like I look better than so I can feel better about myself. I want to hang out with girls that are bad as fuck because I'm going to feel bad as fuck just like you guys. Because bad bitches aren't haters. Another thing a bad bitch does is give compliments. If I like something on someone, like on a girl or just anything random, I will literally give them a compliment because I know how good that feels to just get a random compliment from a pretty girl. So... I give compliments all day, and that's what bad bitches do. We uplift other bad bitches and other women. We know how it feels to have a shitty day and then get a compliment and feel just way better about ourselves. And that's why women need to just stick together because we kind of make the world go round. Last thing is don't be scared to fix what you don't like about yourself. If you want to get plastic surgery or if you want to start wearing makeup or if you want to work out or if you want to wear extensions if you want to do whatever do it fix it because the better you feel is what matters who cares if someone's like oh your lips are fake or oh this is this or 
oh, your hair is fake because it's your body, your decision, whatever you want to do. If you want to get surgery, if you want to get fillers, if you want to get Botox, whatever, get it because that's what you want to do and you have the bag to do it. So do what you want to do. And if you're satisfied with it, that's all that matters because your opinion is the only one that matters to you because you're all that you got at the end of the day. Me, myself, and I is what I got in the end. I'm going to play that. Ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. So those are my tips for how to be a bad bitch. And self-love and confidence and everything that is bad bitch. If you guys love these videos, then give it a like and comment and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. Be sure to turn on my notifications so you guys are notified whenever I make a new video. I love you guys.